throughout this section we will focus on creating different types of learning content for your course in this lesson we will start with the most rudimentary and most commonly used type of content a file resource basically you will make a document available to the student from a particular section of your course homepage you might want to add such resources to share presentations or share source code with the class autocad draft files and literally any other type of content in my case i want to add a pdf document which is a pre reading material that i want my students to read through before coming to the class thus enabling a flipped class model okay the first thing to do like always is to turn editing on you can see that i have created section headings for all my nine sections now i want to add a file resource into my first section called as introduction to c language you can also notice that every section has a link called add an activity or resource and that is precisely what we want to do so i will click that and a pop up window opens up with 20 different powerful tool options the activities are listed first followed by the resources i will scroll down and select the file resource and then click on add the page that follows allows you to configure your downloadable file resource we first start with a name i will paste it into the text box in the description box again i have some ready text which i will paste it by default the description you provide by default the description you provide here will not show on the course page you will have to explicitly enable it by the checkbox provided just below you might sometimes choose to add a descriptor just for your own reference but i have chosen to show it to the students because i also have a message for them to read and the next thing to do is to upload the file i will explain this interface now because it is consistent throughout moodle if you click on the space the standard moodle file picker dialog box will fire up if your file is already up on the server because you have uploaded it already in a different course for example you can select it from the server files if not you can just upload the file from a file picker from the browse button additionally you can give it a different name and further you can also choose a license type for your file upload please be aware that the license given to the file when uploaded to moodle does not in any way affect its visibility on a course it simply creates the default when it is being reused elsewhere on moodle now i am going to cancel this window and show another very convenient way i will just drag and drop a file into the area this will automatically upload it on to the server there are a couple of other sections here for appearance and common module settings which are not necessary now so i will scroll to the bottom and finally click on the save and return to course button when we return to the course home page i can see that my downloadable file has been added to the section to see how it will appear exactly to my students i will turn editing off and there perfect now my students have a pre class reading material that they can download and read in the next few lessons we will see more activities and resources see you in the next class